I'm doing a really cool presentation real quick out here in the audience. You're going to hear from a living legend, World War II hero. We have the reason the Tuskegee Airman was even filmed was because of this man's mission. They took their planes and they were part of this mission. Everybody follow me with the microphone. I'm the fat guy in the tux right here. Ladies and gentlemen, be quiet so you can hear from this man, Mr. Miller from World War II. They wrote a book about his heroism and he's still here to tell us. Once again, Mr. Miller. I want to thank everyone for the privilege of being here to help celebrate this gala, gala, gala occasion. It is a, it is a pleasure and a, and, a, and a blessing to be here. I start by saying my name is Ray Miller and I'm 93 years old and uh, I, uh, I came from Ohio to Indiana in 1927. There I grew up and went to uh, Purdue University and as a sophomore on one Sunday we were attacked by the Japanese at Pearl Harbor, our Navy. The next morning I got up and walked across the Wabash River and enlisted in the Army Air Corps and I was called up into service in 1942 and I was privileged to take pilot training through phases of three phases of training and uh, graduated from uh, the cadet school in May of 1944. There I was chosen to be a pilot and through the phases of training, I got into four engine heavy bomber training. And in September 1944, I went to Lincoln, Nebraska and was given a B-17. Our crew was told to fly over to England. And you can imagine we were 17, 18, 19, year old people that never left me and there we were to fly across the Atlantic to England. Well, we, we took some practice missions and then went into combat. And I, I tell you, in my second combat mission, I was hit very hard and survived and uh, was hospitalized for six weeks. And Christmas Day 1944 was a miracle. Our men and women were trapped at Bastogne in the Battle of the Bulge, and I was privileged to take part of that maximum effort. And I wanted to tell you, usually we flew a thousand B-17, B heavy bombers, and that day we flew 2,000. And we, we struck Germany from one end to the other. We ourselves went to Darmstadt, Germany, and took out their rail yards. And that contributed eventually to the downfall of this. That was the end, start of the end of the war. So I was just privileged and, 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 and uh, 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 and now today, I'm thanking God for the privilege of serving God and country in my final latter days, and I thank him gratefully. And I thank all of you gratefully for inviting me here. God bless you. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, the two of them, from the bomb squad himself, Mr. Ray Miller. This is from our co-founder. Thank you so much from Staff Sergeant Shannon. He's also a two-time Purple Heart. He won a Purple Heart as a Marine. He won a Purple Heart as an Army. Ladies and gentlemen, World War II, 93 years old. The reason the movie was filmed was because of his reputation. Give it up once again, Mr. Ray Miller. Amazing.